614 now in today's morning business report United Airlines changing its family seating policy yeah and a US Supreme case this week could determine the future of the internet Channel 3's Jane King is live at the Nasdaq now with these stories for us good morning Jane Hi, Wendell. Nicole, good morning. Yes, Google is going before the Supreme Court this week as part of a lawsuit that could radically alter the future of online speech and content moderation. Now, this case against Google was brought by the family of a woman who was killed in a 2015 ISIS terror attack in Paris. Now, her parents allege that Google owned YouTube is liable because it failed to remove ISIS terrorist videos. At issue is how much responsibility Google and other tech platforms should take for the content posted on on their sites. Well, United says it will make it easier for families to book seats with their children for free. United will show parents and other adult travelers accompanying a child younger than 12 to access preferred seats as well as regular economy seats at the time of booking so they can sit together. The change will happen in early March. Well, a new Chinese-based online superstore has surpassed Amazon and Walmart to become the most downloaded app in the U.S. Timu made its Super Bowl debut with that high-paid ad. A woman's swimsuit on Timu cost just $650, while a pair of wireless earphones are priced at $850. An eyebrow trimmer is $0.90. Cents. And the Dow closed more than 100 points higher on Friday, but notched its third straight week of losses. Worries about rising interest rates are still concerning traders. And in fact, this morning, we're pointing 265 points lower for this start. Live in the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you.